Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be talking about 8 things that you can do in Lumber Tycoon 2 whenever you're bored. So the first thing you should do if you're bored is uh, play with some friends because, well, friends usually make games fun. Lumber Tycoon 2 is no exception. So if you have someone to, to play Lumber Tycoon with, it's fun to just mess around in the game and maybe annoy each other a bit sometimes. Now, for the next thing, uh, getting blue wood is actually really fun if you have nothing else to do in Lumber Tycoon. And if you think that you cannot find the blue wood, uh, well, there's a YouTuber named Game Logics that posts videos about the route that changes every four days. There we can see the blue wood, and I have not been in here in... It's the first time I've been in here this year. Wow. Now, I'm not going to bring any home because, well, I am on my spook hunting base, and I don't want uh, a mess on my spook hunting base. But it is really fun to get, so if you're really bored in Lumber Tycoon, I would highly suggest that you give this a try. Now the next thing is door bridges, because in the past, when I was bored in Lumber Tycoon 2, I found that putting on some music and just building a door bridge is actually um, a good way to pass time. Plus, when you're finished, you get a cool product out of it. You have a door bridge that, in this case, for this door bridge, it can reach the safari biome if I load over there. And, for my other door bridge, it can actually reach the Palm Island. Now, I have done tutorials for all of these door bridges, and I think one of them will be linked up there in the right corner. Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. So yeah, if you want to build your own door bridge, I have done some tutorials on how to do that. Oh, oh, oh! Yep, we made it, we made it, because we're better. Oh no, never mind. Yeah, we did. We made it. Now the next thing that you can do is get the green box if you have not already done it. Because, you know, if you have nothing else to do in Lumber Tycoon, you can always try to get the green box. No one knows what it does. Uh, presumably it does nothing, but it's, uh, it's, I think it's a lot of fun getting it. I, I can't really remember since I got it three years ago. And next up, if you are bored and you've not already done it, you can build a house. Um, or a base, for that matter. You can, like... Uh, get a theme like a castle, and then build a castle base. I've seen people do that before. And if you do that, you'd have a reason to play Lumber Tycoon 2, and you'll have a lot of fun, and you'll get something out of it. A cool-looking base. Now, I have done a tutorial on how you can build this exact house, so if you don't know how to build a house, well, um, go to the link up in the right corner. And if you do make some very cool builds in Lumber Tycoon, I would love to see them. You can join my Discord server and submit an image in there. And next up, we have having fun with glitches. And I'm not just talking about the blueprint glitch. I'm also talking about glitched vehicles, uh, like the vault trucks. Or um, the extended trailer that I invented, or the extended truck that Duck invented. Because if you get either the extended trailer or the extended truck, you can have some pretty crazy tug of wars. Another glitch is the axe fling glitch, where you go in shift lock mode, grab an axe, and fling yourself. And as you can see, you will be transported. However, this is best to do with the amber axe since you can get the best flings, and it is commonly used during spook hunting. However, if you do it with the um, blue steel axe, you will absolutely go light speed. And this is completely broken, and you cannot, um, yeah. Whoa! Yeah, that's what, that's what I mean. That's what I mean. But it's definitely really fun to mess around with these glitches. And the next thing is Car Wars. Now, it is really fun to just, uh, get a friend, or a couple of friends, even better, and then get in each of your vehicles, and then try to ram each other. And the person who flips first, uh, loses, and... The person who flips last uh, is the winner. And then you can like import some sort of system where the winner gets a prize and the loser gets a punishment or something. But it's actually, uh, I've seen someone have a car wars on, on top of the volcano. You can have car wars in the uh, the end times biome or the uh, lone cave. And you can have car wars on the ferry, the palm islands, wherever. Now, for our final thing, it is blowing up trees because... I don't know what it is, but it's just extremely satisfying blowing up trees. Oh, but as you can see, it causes a great amount of destruction. And if you blow up all the trees in the safari biome, you're going to have a mess and it's going to look kind of wild. But this is extremely satisfying and fun to do. And there's also another thing. 
What the? You can also blow up the Woodera store. So let's just place a piece of TNT in the center of the store. If that's not satisfying, I don't know what is. And you can, I, I, I mean, personally, I could do this for hours, just blowing up the Woodera store. And seeing everything disappear, and then... Look how empty the store looks. There should be blueprints here. But yeah, that was it for this video. I really hoped it um, gave you some ideas for ways to have fun in Lumber Tycoon. Um, and then you just, you, you know, you just try to have fun as much as you can until it's stock up season. Because I don't think Default 2 will add any events. But um, there's not really anything to do in Lumber Tycoon right now. You can build, you can wait, you can mess around. But uh, I hope this gave a little bit of inspiration. So I will see you guys in the future and I will once again disappear.